Hey everybody, this is Mr. Ainsworth, and we're going to get into homework problem number five here called doubling pennies. So check this out. A genie, this guy right here who's looking at you, pops out of a lamp and presents you with the two following options. Option one, receive $50,000 now. So just take $50,000 and run. Or for the next month, start with one penny. Let's change this as a typo. One penny on day one, and then receive two pennies on day two, four more on day three, eight more on day four, and so on. And keep this pattern up for an entire month, and we'll assume that that month has 30, 30 days. What option would you rather have? All right, I want you to write that down here. you got five seconds to make a decision. Five, four, three, two, one. Write down your decision right here. Option one, $50,000, take it and run, or double your pennies for 30 days and take the total amount of money. All right, so we'll see if you're right. Let's go down here and let's kind of play around with uh, what's going on and let's take a look at some patterns here. On day one, you get one penny. And in dollar form, that's, well, that's written as a decimal point zero one. On day two, you get two pennies. Again, we're doubling here, times it by two, right? And that's written as two cents in dollar form. On day three, you get double that, so you get four more pennies. On day four, you double that, you get eight more pennies. Again, you multiply by two, multiply by two. Double the eight, okay, times by two again, you get 16 pennies, which in dollar form looks like this, okay? Eight cents is written like this. Four pennies or four cents is written like this. All right, amount in dollars there. On day six, you got to double. All right, this is the doubling problem. So 32 here, 32 cents or 0.32. All right, double that again. You get 64 pennies or 0.64, 64 hundredths. On day eight, check this out. You got to double that again, and that is 128. All right, now if you're on a calculator, by the way, you can use one at any time you like. You can, because uh, the numbers are going to get quite large here. So let me get mine going. And let's go hit second mode, clear it out. And let's uh, put it right here. Oops. All right, and let's get my lesson back up. All right, so you got your uh, calculator off to the side. If you want to use it here, you want to double that. And by the way, if you want to use it, then all you do is this. One times two equals two, right? times 2 equals, times 2 equals, times 2 equals. Notice that the doubling sequence is coming up, times 2 equals. And then once you do it three times, the calculator remembers the pattern of doubling. And if you keep hitting the Enter button, guess what? It does it for you. So at 128 pennies, that's $1.28. All right, double that, times 2. So times 2, well, that's 2.56. And that's two dollars and fifty-six cents in dollars. Remember, this is in dollars here. Double that. Check it out. Double that. Well, you get five hundred and twelve pennies. Now these are pennies, right? Divide that by a hundred, and you get five dollars and twelve cents. So at day number ten, this is day ten here. We don't have a whole lot of money yet, and it doesn't seem like uh, you made a good choice if you wanted to double your number of pennies every day, because you could have taken the the money and run at fifty thousand dollars. Okay, but let's see what happens here. All right. So by the way, these numbers look familiar, right? These are powers of two. Powers of two, and notice that one or two here is two to the first power. One is two to the zero power. Four is two squared. Eight, two cubed. Sixteen, two to the fourth. Uh, 32 to the 5th, to the 6th, to the 7th, to the 8th, and 2 to the 9th. And if you don't believe me, just go ahead and do it right here. 2, 2 raised to the 9th power. Well, you get 512, like I said. All right. But let's go back to the doubling thing here. Okay, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. you got to do it three times in order for it to remember the pattern. We're up at 512. Okay, so here we go. At day 11... You double it, that's 1,024. So 1,024 pennies, which is, if you divide by 100, 
is $10.24, which should make sense because if you double $5.12, you get $10.24. Remember, this is in dollars here. Now, you double that. All right, no big deal. You double 1,000, you get 2,000. Double 24, you get 48. So that should be 2,048, which it is. So 2,048, right small. And that's $20.48. So even on day 12, you're approaching half the month here. You're not getting a whole lot of money compared to 50000 So maybe that, that $50,000 sounds pretty good. I don't know. So let's figure it out. Double it again. 4096 So 4096 pennies is $40.96. It's not growing that fast, is it? All right, 8192 So 8192 that's $81.92. That's, uh, we're not even halfway there yet, so let's go halfway. Double again, 16,384. So 16,384, that is $163.84. Okay, we're halfway through the month. This is halfway, half, uh, way through the month. Through the month here, and... Okay, great. We have this is halfway, so halfway we got 163 bucks. We could have taken that 50,000 and run, right? Did we make a good decision? Did we do we should we have taken this doubling penny situation or should we have taken the 50,000 dollars? Because it sure doesn't look that great yet. So let's keep on going. All right, now we're at 32,768. So 32,768. That's $327.68. That's on day 16. Day 17, you got to double that. 65,536. So 65,536 pennies. That's $655.36. You just shift the decimal place twice to the left every single time because these are pennies and there's 100 pennies per dollar. Okay? You guys should know that. And now we're at 131,072. So 131,072. That translates to $1,310.72. All right, that's day 18. And day 19, you got to double that. Because this is the doubling problem again. So 262,000. So 262,144. That translates to 2,000. Six hundred and twenty-one dollars forty-four cents. So we're, we're all close to three thousand dollars on day nineteen. All right, day twenty, got double it again. So that's five thousand uh, five hundred and twenty-four thousand five hundred and twenty-four thousand and two hundred eighty-eight pennies. All right, shift the decimal. Five thousand two hundred forty-two dollars and eighty-eight cents. That's on day 20. We're only at $5,242.88. We could have taken 50000 and run. Did we make a good decision? I don't know. Let's double it again. All right, so here we go. Now we're, holy cow, at the million, uh, a million, 48,576. So 1048, 1048, 576. Okay, what is that in dollars? Okay, so it's ten thousand four hundred eighty-five dollars and seventy-six cents. Now we're over ten thousand dollars on day twenty-one, and as you can tell, the numbers are are uh, well, they're getting bigger here. But let's take a look at patterns. Okay, so let me see. Uh, this one here was two to the ninth, so this is probably two to the tenth, right? Let's check. All right, so two raised to the tenth power. 1,024. Ah, okay, good. So this one's to 11th. This one's 2 to the 12th. This one's 2 to the 13th. This is to the 14th. This is to the 15th. To the 16th. To the 17th. To the 18th. To the 19th. Okay, this one is 2 to the 20th. Okay, and you know what? This space is really small, so I'm going to skip it. I'm going to go all the way to my answer right here. But what's the pattern? What should this be? Two to a power. So let's make a connection here because, you know, in mathematics, we want to look at patterns. And I don't want to keep on doing this again and again and again. And 
Of course, you can hit the uh, enter button a whole bunch of times on the calculator and figure it out, I suppose. But you know what? What happens if we don't want it after the 30th day, but we want to know it at the 60th day? You don't want to just keep on hitting the buttons, okay? You want to be able to figure this out. You've got to be smart about it. So we mathematicians do this. We look at patterns, all right? Look at patterns. So check this out. Uh, on the day one, we it's 2 to the 0 power. Look at the exponent. On day two, it is 2 to the 1st power. On day three, it's 2 to the 2nd power. On day four, that's 2 to the 3rd power. Go out here. Day seven, it's 2 to the 6th power. On day nine, it's 2 to the 8th power. There's a pattern here. Do you see it? On the 10th day, it's 2 to the 9th power. On the 20th day, it's 2 to the 19th power. Notice the exponent is one less than the day number. Okay? And this right here, on day 21, it's 2 to the 20th power. So right here, I know this is 2 to the 21st power. And this is 2 to the 22nd. And I know right here, this has got to be 2 to the 29th power. Alright? So watch this. 2 raised to the 29th power. Okay, let's let's write that down. In fact, let me capture that. Let me capture it right here. Check this out. I gotta love this technology here. Shh, boom, right there. Okay, let me clean this up just a little bit here. There we go. Shrink it down a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay, so on, if you want to read this correctly, these are pennies, remember that. These are pennies. So if you put the decimal point in right here, put some commas in, you can read the number properly. This is on day 30. Day number 30, right here, and this is 5 million. This is over 5 million. And this is only on... On day number 30, if we double this again, we'd be over 10 million, guys. If we wanted to go 31 days, because some months have 31 days, we'd have over 10 million in the bank. And so we'd look back at the genie and say, hey, of course, uh, you can keep your 50,000. I'll double my pennies every day for 30 days or 31 days. Of course, wait, because look at this. You'd have over $5 million. And that's the power of doubling. All right? You'd have a huge amount of money right here. And so, uh, in respect to our answer, here it is. It's over five minutes, five hundred or five million three hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred nine dollars and twelve cents. Wow, that's what you'd have right here on day number thirty. So this is our big answer right here. That's day thirty in this problem. That's what happens when you double a penny every day for thirty days. The power of doubling. Okay. Now it's awesome. That's your famous doubling, a doubling function, your power, powers of 2, and your famous growth function, y equals 2 to the x power. This is a growth exponential, and it shows you the power of doubling, starting with just one penny, and after 30 days, you have over $5 million in the bank. So growth exponential here. Pretty awesome example here. All right. So remember, when the genie comes up to you, let's go back and see, let's see, take a look at what he looks like here. When this guy right here comes up to you and said, "Hey, what well, would you rather have?" You better pick option two, guys, because fifty thousand dollars is not very much compared to the, the second situation. All right. And that's the power of doubling, and it shows you the, uh, how fast exponential functions can grow uh, pretty quickly here. All right. This is Mr. Ainsworth, and I'll see you in my next lesson.